This is Movie Town. Leslie Mitchell reporting. Surely no bestseller could have had such wide and effective advance publicity. The after midnight opening of the stationary office with queues estimated at 2,000 strong brought anticipation to a climax that few publishers can ever hope for. But if anyone was expecting a Kinsey report on ministerial private life, they were to be disappointed. The terms of reference to examine the security service and discover if national security had been endangered were given to Lord Denning in June. They were given to him by the Prime Minister. Now that the report's out, it is he who comes in for a large part of his Lordship's criticism. It was the responsibility of the Prime Minister and his colleagues, says Lord Denning, to deal with this situation, and they did not succeed in doing so. The PM's handling of the Profuma affair could cost him both leadership of the party and the election but he deserves some of our sympathy for his claim that Mr. Profumo flagrantly betrayed his trust. But the crux of the report is that it considers Profumo's association with the notorious Miss Keeler to have brought about no leakage of state secrets. Lord Denning completely clears other ministers of scandalous conduct in spite of all the rumours. Nor does he accept that the episode indicates a decline in the integrity of public life. It's news to most of us that the Home Secretary, not the Prime Minister, is responsible for security. This may not lessen Mr. Macmillan's burden of responsibility, but it does point yet another big question. Should government define its functions more clearly to avoid such confusion and lack of confidence in future? The flagship